Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech tutorial. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna to show you how to build a simple ad lib word game with Zapier. We all know that automation is a great way to save time and be more productive, but life isn't always about work. Sometimes you need to have a little fun. With this quick and easy fill in the blank word game, you'll be able to send a completed story in Slack by filling out a short form. Let's get started. For this tutorial, we'll be using Google Forms, Google Sheets, and Slack. However, you can use just about any software you'd like. You could collect your answers with Typeform instead of Google Forms, or send the finished ad lib in an email instead of Slack. Whichever app you use, it will all work basically the same way. So the software is really up to you. First, you'll need to write the script for your ad lib story. Go through your story and replace a few keywords with placeholders, like noun, verb, adjective, and other terms like that as appropriate. These are the words that will be filled in every time someone plays the game. The formatting of these placeholders doesn't matter. They're just for your convenience as you're building. Once your story is all set, it's time to make a form we can use to collect responses. In Google Forms or your preferred survey app, make a new form and include a question for each of the blanks in your ad lib. As you can see, our form has a question to match each noun, verb, or other placeholder. When your form is finished, create a spreadsheet to collect answers. and be sure to fill it out at least once so you have some test data to work with. With some test data ready to go, you can open up Zapier and start building the automation. Create a new Zap and use the new spreadsheet row in Google Sheets as your trigger. To identify the spreadsheet you want to use, open up your Google Sheet and grab the ID from the URL bar. Then paste that ID into Zapier. Select the worksheet you want to use and click Continue. Test the trigger, and you should see the answers you filled in earlier. Now that we have all the data we need to compile our ad lib story, we're gonna put it all together and send it as a message in Slack. Add a new step to your Zap and choose Slack as the app. You can either send a direct message to one person or send it to a channel for everyone to see. Copy and paste your story script into the message body and replace your placeholder text with the actual data from your first step. This way, the finished story will say geese or mice or whatever the player entered in instead of noun. Finish configuring your message and click Continue. Test the step and you should see the message appear in Slack. Now you can turn your zap on and whenever someone completes the form, you'll see a completed ad lib show up in Slack. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Setting up a simple game like this only takes a few minutes and it's a great way to have a little fun with Zapier. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel. If you'd like to learn more about no code and low code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can check out all those links in the description down below. And as always, don't forget, keep the flow.